batch files can be written using any text editor. In this case, we are gonna use Notepad. So open up your Notepad program and let's type some commands, shall we? <laughs> okay, the first thing that you're gonna do is to copy this command, this line of code, echo of. Next, go to the next line and type echo hell uh, gig compiler. Yeah. Now go to the next line and type pause. Now the echo command, which is this one, it's used to print text into the screen. So whatever follows the echo command will be displayed. So git compiler will be displayed into the screen. Now the pause pause command is used to wait for the user interaction. Uh, if, if we didn't have the pass command in our batch file, in our batch program, the file will shut down um, after displaying the the text, which is this one. So yeah, let's save it. Say as let's save it as geek two. You have to save it as B A T, which stands for batch. If you don't save it as BAT, um, the program won't run. So save it. And there it is. Now let's change our directory. CD desktop. And let's run our program from our command line. So I'm gonna type star and gig to B A T and that's how you start a program with the star command. So type enter and there we go. That's our program that we just created. As you can see it output key compiler. Fantastic. Now let's do some operations. Um so to do some operation in the command line the set uh, command should be used along with the slash slash I mean slash a switch so let's let's do some additions 5 plus 5 now let's do some subtractions so you, you're gonna use set slash a and then 5 minus 5 so let's do some divisions yeah let's, let's, let's do some divisions so set slash a you have to set as a and do 10 and 5 that and that's 2 <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much that's, that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching and I shall see you later in my next videos bye bye